Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. We are here today to try a primer and see if it's going to last all day. Today I am going to go and wear the Nikkei Joys Cosmetics Primer. It looks like this, the packaging, outside packaging looks like this. Oh, come on, come on. There you go. And the bottle itself, the packaging looks like, like this. I did swatch it uh, the other day just to see the texture. I was very curious, but I haven't used it on my face. This is the packaging and I like the packaging. I just wish it was see-through. But if you want to see how this is going to wear the whole day because it's six, uh, it's 10 minutes till seven in the morning. And if you want to see how this is going to last on my combination the oily skin, then please keep on watching. So there are a lot of matte base primers out there. New primers come all, almost every week. There is a new primer out, out there. And, and I have a couple of primers that claims to be mattifying poor feeling, mattifying, all day wear. So I really am curious to see because I do have combination oily skin and I do get oily during the day. After like five, six hours, I get oily. After nine, eight, nine hour, hours, I look like a mess. And it doesn't really matter what foundation I have. If I have very good foundations, I'm going to wear today the, the Dior foundation, this one. And it, my does can, this one and if I wear those kind of foundation or mattifying foundations I still get very very oily at the end of the day but they don't break they don't smudge too much they don't run you know run around on my face which is good but I still get very oily so I want to find a primer that uh, will contain my oils good and for many hours so I'm today I'm going to try this one I'm going to wear different primers different days and I'm going to have a video for every single primer that I'm trying out and there is a couple of them so you're going to see many of primer reviews on my channel but let's read a little bit of this this is supposed to be an instantly blurring mattifying primer that minimizes pores smooths the skin texture and controls shine for perfect all-day makeup wear Infused with skincare to hydrate and calm the skin, control breakouts and help improve skin condition over time. Claims a lot of stuff, a lot of things. Let's just test it. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. And I did try it. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see. It looks like a foundation. That was I was shocked about. I haven't seen any review about this primer. No review at all. No video. And I'm actually really have a long sweater on my face. Oh, it's it dries down really fast. Okay, uh, you don't mess with this one. It dries down very fast. Feel like I need more. Maybe I don't need more, but no, I feel like I didn't put it even all over the skin because it dried down. Ooh, like. <laughs> I feel like if I start messing with it a lot on my nose it's going to start to peel it feels like a layer on the skin not heavy it doesn't feel heavy but it feels like I don't know how to explain it feels now like my skin grabbed the primer it holds for the whole, it holds primer and if I start rubbing it's going to start peeling that's how it feels I'm going to see um, let's see how it looks I don't know uh, how I'm going to see myself in the camera when I start editing this video but right now looks a little bit matte but I still feel like I can see my pores very visible they are very very visible my pores yeah, they are very visible. I have a pimple here that hurts a lot. So, I don't know. I don't know if it minimized my pores, but I'm going to see when I edit the, the video later. You can see it immediately now. 
but now it dried down I can't feel it on the skin but my skin feels a little bit tighter so so far so good I'm going to go and finish my eye look and I'll be back to apply the foundation okay now I'm ready for the foundation so we're going to shake it and I can't feel the prime on my skin my skin feels feels dry so this is not for dry skin the Dior, ha the Dior foundation is a really good foundation even the radiant one doesn't really make me very very greasy or oily for seven hours six seven hours eight and it starts getting shinier but I really love that foundation I love Dior foundations even if I look oily it doesn't break it doesn't look cakey so I love it I'm going to go in with a brush because I have not so much time left and on my eyes I do have Natasha Denona dream palette if you wonder I don't know maybe I should have used the brush for this foundation because I feel like the foundation doesn't look really even on my skin it feels like it grabbed for a couple of on couple of places and then it, then it stayed there and dried it down because this primer grabs into the foundation which is a good sign though just a little bit more time to work with the foundation though but I can't see that see here on my nose I had to reapply foundation a couple of times okay so the foundation went on okay on the face I have to be honest it was it took me a while to blend it all over the face for the first time it feels like this primer is grabbing on to, into uh, grabbing the foundation but also dry it very fast which means that it's really hard for me to blend the foundation uh, all over the skin and I had some uh, patches where miss my foundation was missing and uh, especially here on the nose and here but I tried to reply a couple of times doesn't work so I'm going to leave it like this but I am going to use some concealer um, because if I continue applying foundation I will have a cake okay a cake and I don't want a cake I'm going to go with Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury's concealer yeah the, this dries down very fast so when I use this primer maybe I should work in sections with the foundation and concealer but it looks nice it really looks nice though it's definitely not pore filling because I can see my pores I can see my pores maybe it will cover pores if you have less of them but I have a lot of pores I'm going to set everything I'm going to go in with NARS powder and set my under eyes and then I'm going to go use Anastasia's powder for the rest of the face and a little bit above So right now everything looks good. It lo I look matte. I do look matte, but it looks good. Uh, pores less visible on the nose, though here they're still visible. But I I'm not hating it. I do like it. I do like it. I'm going to finish the makeup look. Okay, it's now, let me show you, 7.25 in the morning. And I'm going to wear this whole day. My makeup is done. I'm going to fix my hair, go to work but so far so good it looks good it doesn't look matte matte it doesn't I can feel it on my skin it, the makeup feels light so far so good we'll see how this is going to wear the whole day everything went on smoothly on top no problem so we'll see finger cross hi everyone and welcome back it's now 6 34 p.m. and I've been having on, on this makeup for around 12 hours and this is how it looks let me take off my glasses and let's see how it looks I actually had glasses on today so let's see okay now here where my glasses see 
they're new, they're new glasses, so it kind of pushes the nose a little bit or presses the nose a little bit too much. But okay, I look, let me just say, I had it for around 12 hours. This morning, no, not the morning, well, when I was on, on my way home around 5 p.m., I looked still a little bit matte. I wasn't shiny. I had that natural go, but I wasn't shiny. I feel like this last half an hour, it's when it started getting more shiny. And uh, I can say that I feel like it looks really good. It looks really good. It didn't break up anyway. It doesn't look too heavy. One off here a little bit. Just nose looks a little bit weird, but everything else looks still good. I really like this primer. I think it's really, really good. Let me just take a paper and try to press a little bit just to take off the oil, the oil and see if, of course, the makeup removes when I press, but I just want to see how it looks. Yeah, I mean, it still looks really good. You can see where my glasses come together here on my nose that it as more because I have my make makeup on. But here, my glasses actually touch my touch my cheeks and it just removed a little bit of foundation, but not too much. I mean, it's not so visible when you look at me straight, but it's, I like it. I love this primer a lot. I mean, it's a really, really good primer. I like it, I like it a lot. So this primer delivers delivers i can trust it and i think it's a really good primer i like the packaging i don't like that it's not see-through i prefer to see what's in the, in my bottles but it's still a really good primer it's the primer that it's more um important than the packaging itself so i do like it like it so this is a good primer let me know down below if you tried it what do you think about it? We still have a couple of more primers. We do have milk. No, it's not. Where is it? I have a milk matte primer. I also have a couple of more primers to try out. I forgot the net brand, but still some primers to try out to see how they are going to wear. I also am going to go in and do full day wear of this uh, just because I want to compare these together and see how they are going to last on my oily T-zone. But that's very interesting because I do like this, but I'll see how it actually compares with others. But let me know down below if you tried uh, this primer, what do you think about it? Do you have any recommendation? I would like to know. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.